Hello everybody, today we're gonna do a video that might not quite fit with minimalism, but I will explain later why it can. Because if you go with the principle, every time you purchase something, you get rid of at least one other item, if not more, then it works very well. But today we're featuring one of my personal favorite brands. In fact, I am wearing a dress of that brand right now. It's called Rouge by Jean Damas. She is a French model, entrepreneur, influencer, come designer who made this brand Rouge and I think a lot of you, if you clicked on this video, probably already know the brand. But I will show you an unboxing of two different boxes and I have waited for about two months to do this video because I've been in the middle of moving. Here's the first box. And the second box is huge because there's a bag inside. Let's go. Ciao Luna! Want to unbox with me? Okay, so here's the first box and of course like in every household, I have scissors right next to me. Here we go. Okay. So this print already on the label was one of their Jingham prints. Am I saying that right? Jingham, Jingham? Anyways, this was on some of the clothes. Uh, for me personally, this uh, print is a little bit too retro um, for my personal style, but I know some girls who wear that and look fantastic and just really depends on your personal style. Some of rouge can be very retro and very cute. Not that that's a bad thing. Okay, here you have a little card with another print, Rouge Paris. And then here, okay, so she has split rouge, the clothing brand, and the makeup brand, very famous for her lipstick especially, to Les Filles en Rouge. So they used to be the same brand and I think now she split them into two so that you can purchase the makeup separately, I think also through some makeup distributors online. All right, I didn't purchase any makeup though. Okay, there comes a cute little mm, lavender sachet. Hmm. I know that my mom used to keep this in the closet to just have the clothes stay fresh and beautiful and smell like lavender. So thank you Rouge for providing one. All right, here we go. The first item. is this dress here. Oh. Looks like a shirt from the length, but I think it is definitely a dress and it will form to your curves. I will be trying all the items on later so we can see what they look like, but uh, beautiful. I love, I normally am not a fan of blue. I actually very, very decidedly never wear blue because I don't think it looks good on my very warm kind of yellow tinted skin tone but in this combination with the yellow i actually think it's really lovely so we'll see what i think when i actually try it on this dress of all the items was an impulse purchase which i don't usually recommend but we are human and once in a while i think that's totally fine okay second item being super patient here okay i love red and this is a very marine sort of French vibe for the summer. It's a top. Zack. Really cute. Um, I think it pretty much goes with anything, to be honest, if you ask me. I think they also had this in a blue stripe or at least one other color, but I love warm colors, so for me, it was the red choice. Really nice. It feels a bit rougher than I thought it would feel, but still feels nice. I made sure that when I made these purchases, I got stuff that was if not 100%, then predominantly cotton because I'm not a huge fan. I do know that compared to some of Rouge's earliest collections, they're using more cotton, they're using more linen and less polyester. And they're also producing, I believe it's exclusively in the EU or at least a vast majority of their clothes and leather goods and accessories are produced in the EU. At the beginning, that wasn't the case. So I think a lot of people raise their hand and Promoted those changes. Okay, this one, people who know me are gonna laugh. I already have this shirt. If I love, 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 love something, I will buy it twice. Maybe even more than twice. Not a great idea. I do actually wanna get out of that habit, but sometimes this fear of never having it again comes in. You know, those stories of people who buy um, perfumes on stock because they're gonna be discontinued. So that's how I felt about this particular shirt. I just love it so much. It's made in Italy. It is knit in a 
really beautiful way. You can, it looks see-through and it also it is a bit see-through to be honest, but I think for the summer, it's really beautiful. Um, I have tried this on before and I will try it on again for you, but it's definitely not see-through to the point where you feel uncomfortable. And this comes from a girl whose, you know, nip situation is also on the darker side. So definitely don't worry about that too much, but it's beautiful. It's a halter top with an open back and really comfortable for the summer, 100% cotton. Okay, that was the first box, already done. Here we go. Sorry, Lola. Okay, moving on to the second box. It's actually not that heavy, even though it's large. Ooh. All right, let's open this. It's already been opened. Who opened my box? I did. Okay. Opa. Okay, there's only two items in this box. Here we go. There's no lavender sachet in this one. I wanted two. All right, so here we have the same things. Okay, you can see the, the lip obsession with Les Filles en Rouge, the lipstick, which by the way, I'm wearing some of the lipstick right now from the lip palette, the original one, the first one she ever brought out. Really love it. Personally though, I only really use two of the four shades in the palette. So I do think that, you know, Maybe being able to customize it would be nice. Maybe someday that'll happen. Okay, here's the bag I ordered. Okay. Okay. Mm. Not too great of a shape keeper during transportation, I can see. It is a basket bag. I love basket bags. In the summer, that's pretty much all I use. I think they're just super practical. I think they're cute. Personally, I'm not a big fan of bags that have a massive label on it or anything like that. So in terms of a comfortable big bag for travel as well, um, the only downside is that they're usually open. So you might want to have a smaller pouch inside to keep your valuables. Um, okay, this bag is actually smaller than I expected. I thought it would be a bit larger. Um, I still think it's cute, but it's very rigid. So I think I'm going to have to stuff it with some stuff at the bottom to fill it and make it turn back into shape. Let's actually see if I can use my brute force to do so. Okay, actually that was not so hard. So it looks like as soon as you fill it or pop it, it'll work out. Um, I like that you can, you know, just hold it nicely here. It has that cute little clasp so you can close it, theoretically. Um, now, the big question is, this was also a bit of a more impulsive purchase. Okay, it does sort of fit under the arm, but might look a little awkward because it's so high up. Okay, but we'll try it on later with some more outfits or when I'm standing. And the last thing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there are actually two things packaged together. Oh, this is from the sale. And what Hoos does is they have an archive sale. So what that means is they bring back items from some of their previous collections. So from last summer or even the summer before that. So if there's something that you feel you missed out on or just something you weren't aware of existed, then you can go back and purchase them in the archive sale um, or archive sale in French. And the really good thing about this is that the prices are really good because they're just items they have on backlog and they bring them out for these sales. Um, let's see. Okay, the first one is the top that I was really excited to get. I was looking for it everywhere, secondhand, Depop. Facebook Marketplace, okie dokie. It is the Rouge Amber Top in, a, in this yellow flower print. Again, it seems they like yellow and blue a lot. Okay, I think the way this works is I put this as a halter neck over the back and then I tie it in the front. Um, looks really pretty, 100% tensile made in Serbia. Serbia is not EU, but it's Europe. Okay, beautiful. Oh. And last but not least, so this is a good example of a dress I wasn't aware of existed because my friend wore it. She's super stylish and I saw it and I asked her where it's from and she said rouge. I said, oh, oh, it's rouge. That's why I love it. Okay, let's see here. I love this velvet green print. Feels nice to the touch. Feels like 
and looks like sea foam. Huge fan of ocean, nature, earthy inspired prints and clothing. Can't wait to try it on. Dress number uno. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, so this dress, I actually really like it on. I was a bit worried that because it's stretchy, very comfortable though, that it would be a bit unflattering, but it's actually super nice. Um, all right, so here we have the yellow belly center, but I actually really love the way that it combines with the blue. Like I said before, I'm normally not a huge fan of blue, but I think that this actually really balances out the warm and cold tones. So it's a relatively neutral print in the end. I mean, neutral if you take a huge flower on your dress as a neutral print, but here it is from the side. So kind of, you know, even if you don't have too much of a booty, it kind of gives you a bit of a booty. And then the front, I think it's really beautiful, very feminine. The straps are adjustable. Um, I'm a tall girl, so I have to definitely make the straps longer. That was no problem at all. And I think it's super comfortable. I think this is also 100% cotton. Really beautiful, comfortable fabric, breathable, very soft on the body. So I really like this dress. I am not wearing a bra underneath and I feel like it forms the boobies really nicely and it also makes it really just comfortable there's no nip showage if that's something that you don't really love so it's very comfortable to wear without a bra and let's be honest in the summer who wants to wear a bra the way i combine this dress is with these sandals here so given the blue and the yellow i chose to go for a more brown warm tone here to make it a bit more summery a bit more beachy if you will even though it's not fully beachy i would wear this dress probably more on a summer night out in the city. And then what I did as well is I combined it with this beige purse from by far. I really like this combination because it makes it a bit more 90s. It has a bit of a urban retro vibe to it while still being quite fresh because I personally haven't seen a dress like this. I think it's one of Rouge's most unique pieces. So this is the dress. Okay, here we have the top. Okay, trying to tuck this in the pants. If anyone has any good tips on how to keep a shirt in pants, let me know. Okay, I've chosen to combine this top with blue jeans and this beautiful bag here. This bag is actually from Cezanne, so another French brand. I love this bag because it's also, how do you say Verstellbar in English? Anyways, you can uh, make it longer and make it shorter. In German, there's a great word for that. Maybe there's one in English too. But in any case, right now I have it on the short side, so it's really practical. You can wear it this way. Mm -hmm. Frizzy hair, it is humid in here. But this bag is super practical. I love the way that it's practical, but still beautiful and very summery. So this is ideal for a city bag. Not so much maybe for work if you have to carry a laptop around, but for everything else, I think it's amazing. The shirt itself. So, everything I have is in a size 36. I think it fits well. It's really comfortable. It's also cotton. The buttons are fake. Falso. They're not real buttons, which is fine, but I actually think that this square cut here is not the most flattering if you're a girl who has a little bit of boobies, a little bit of a shoulder going on. I don't think it's the most flattering cut. If the buttons were real and you could maybe open at least the first two buttons, then that would give a bit of a V, which I think would make it a little bit more flattering if you have more of a hourglass figure going on. But nevertheless, I actually do still quite like this shirt. I think it's pretty. It's very French marinière vibes, like marine, marine vibes, I think that's what you would say. So I think it's really beautiful. It's comfortable. I think it combines well with jeans. You could also wear this with a white linen pad, for example, if you're fully going for that French I'm on vacation vibe. But yeah, I like this one. Same thing, I combined it with the same brown shoes. Here we have the yellow top. I'm wearing heels, so a bit taller than usual, already tall, but here we go. So this top took me a minute and a half to figure out how to put on because it's totally open. So I'm actually gonna open it for y'all. I'm not from the South, but I say y'all because I think it's a very useful word. Okay, so as you can see, it's completely open. I'm not gonna completely open this because this ain't OnlyFans, but in the front, you have it like this and you go over the back of your neck, then you tie it. You can either tie it in the back, which would keep the 
straps a bit longer here, or you can go over the front. I think that's how the model had it on Opla, in the uh, in the photo. Now, I love, love, love this top. They also have it in an orange, in a kind of orange flower print, but that was sold out in a size 36, through size 36 that I wear for at least the summer clothes. I like to size up for some of the sweaters and winter stuff because I like oversized outerwear, but here we are with the top. I am again wearing the blue jeans. These are from Agol. They're the pinch waist kick. And then I combined it with these booties right here. <laughs> so the booties are, to me, a really beautiful combination with this outfit because it's a little bit more urban. You could wear this top totally vacation wives, wives, vibes with maybe a skirt or shorts, but I'm going for a slightly more city appropriate look. The only thing is that this top is a little bit sheer. Now, if you have light nips, you're fine. Anywhere from medium to darker nips, they might show un poquito, but I think it's okay. The bag I chose to combine this outfit with is a fake Bottega Veneta. So I call it my fake Tega. I bought this in Greece for 30 euros. And let me tell you, worth it. It's empty, so it's a little bit floppy right now, but I think it combines super nicely with this outfit here, with the shoes. I think it makes for a nice color combination. So, voila. Even my dog is color coordinated with this outfit. Hey, Lolita. Okay, so here is the top. And this is the outfit. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I would describe this outfit. I think it's kind of like sex in the city, urban summer girl meets super beach vacation vibes. Oh, this is also the bag, of course. So the top here, you can see, I love it. What is awkward about it? The boob part or what looks like the boob part is very much above the bust. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I also, you know, tied it at the back here, you can see, but in order for me to tie it so that it was tight enough, I had to tie it quite tight and high up, which I think is what elevated this bust part. I'm not sure if maybe a smaller size would have helped. So far, I find that the Rouge 36 for all the items I've ordered has been perfect, but who knows? Maybe this is a bit of an exception. Because it's crochet, it could be that it's a bit looser or it stretches a bit more. Nevertheless, I love, love, love the look of this shirt. I've combined it with this vintage leather mini, well, actually suede mini, that I found at a shop in Zurich, just a random shop, and I asked them, can I buy the skirt? And they said, yes. So here we are. The boots are from by far. I love them, really love them. I also have these in black. And then the bag, as you know, is hoosh. So actually, I do quite like this bag. I just think that as far as basket bags go, it is not the most practical one in the world. It does go over my shoulder, but then it makes for a bit of a, what am I doing with this arm situation? Um, unless you actually made it a bit tighter, which then kind of squeezes the bag. Nevertheless, I think it's a really beautiful option for if you want a basket bag. It was on sale. The basket bags, I don't know about how sustainable they are. I think this one was manufactured in Madagascar. Questionable about how much of the proceeds that they make from this bag actually go to the people who produce them, as is the problem in fashion in general. So maybe this bag was not the wisest purchase, both in terms of quality, I think, it is probably my least favorite item from all the things I ordered, but that's because I already have some basket bags. The rest of the outfit, j'adore. Okay, and here we go with this seafoam dress, which I have combined with this jacket for the evening, or perhaps if you're wearing it to a slightly more formal occasion, or just if it's a bit cooler in the evening. The jacket is from Bash. I actually don't know if that's how you say it. It's B-A-N-S-H, but it's Bash, another French brand. I got this when I was working on TV. It was part of a suit set. I also have the pants, but I think you can combine it really well by itself. It's a simple white blazer. Here we have, again, the fake Tega, but I'm actually gonna put both of these things to the side right now, just so you can see the dress. So the dress is also a size 36. It's from, I think last year, if not two years ago, it was in the archive sale. So it's an older collection. The sizing on this one, as soon as I open it, there's no zipper or any buttons to get in. I was like, okay, it looks a bit tight to get in. And it was a bit tight to get in, um, especially if you have, you know, just a bit of a shoulder bust situation going on where perhaps you feel like anything that doesn't have a zipper is not so ideal. Again, for ladies with a difference between bust and waist and hips, 
that's a common problem where just a zipper kind of helps make this nice and cinch in. If you don't have a zipper, it's either too wide or it can be tight to get in. I felt this way with the dress. Now seeing it on, I think it's very pretty, but it's not my favorite. Um, here, I just feel like the cut is not the most flattering. Again, for my personal body shape, I think on my friend, it looked amazing. I just think here, it's a little bit not the most flattering. This is me being very picky. I actually preferred the other items, but I think it's a really beautiful pattern. It's very soft on. I do think because of the velvet, it has a higher level of polyester than the other items. So that is something to consider because polyester can get a bit sweaty, but the straps are adjustable. So I adjusted them to make it a bit lower. Um, it feels really comfortable everywhere. Here, it feels a little bit cinched in. Not super uncomfortable, but definitely not the kind of dress you just throw on to go out during the day. I would wear this more in the evening, on vacation or in the city. I still think it's really stunning. Perhaps I think it's more stunning on my friend, for example, she is blonde. And I think this color, I thought it would look nice on me. I do think it might go better with slightly cooler skin tones just because it is quite pastel-y. And on warmer skin tones, they say that bolder colors are better. Again, up to everyone's preference, but seeing it on, I don't love it as much as I loved it on my friend who inspired me to buy this. Here we go.